this week we're looking at the use of Angular and web storage and cookies. So when implementing servers and websites, usually you require some login accounts and sometimes much more data than that. Sometimes it is required to remember that the data so that the next time that the user looks at the website, the user doesn't have to log in again. So here we have two strategies for storing data. We can use the newer HTML5 uh, web storage options, or we can also look at an older um, version of this, which is using cookies. So web storage can be broken down into two general use types. We can have persistent storage where there is no expiration date and we can have, which is also called local storage, uh, and we can have session storage. In this case, the data is lost whenever the browser tab is closed. So web storage became available with HTML5 and allows us to store data locally between page loads. This gives us some sense then of a stateful application. So web storage is a per origin, so per domain and protocol. All pages from the one origin can store and access data from that same um, web storage. Web storage allows for at least five megabytes of data per origin. Some browsers will be more than this, but generally not less. Uh, before HTML applications, data had to be stored in cookies. Uh, so they had to be included in every server request. So web storage is more secure and larger amounts of data can be stored locally without affecting the website performance. So how do we use local storage uh, in our Angular app? So the example that we have here is running within the on or the ng on init method. So this is akin to the jQuery's document.ready function where it sits and waits for the whole of the DOM to be ready um, and for all of the, the variables to be active to be looked at. So in this case, once we have our page ready, we can then go in and check whether storage is available. You might be using a browser that isn't HTML5 compliant, um, in which case storage may not be active, in which case we can give them some other message, maybe go and update to a newer browser. Um, but if we do have storage available, then we have options to use either, in this case, local storage, which is the persistent version, or session storage, which is only session based, that once you shut down your browser or shut down that tab in your browser, that information is lost. So we can use the local storage dot set item, passing in a name value pair, where this is the, the key and this is its value, um, and then that gets stored and we can then use that later on using a get item where all we have to pass in as a parameter for get item is the key. So to get it back, or well, as we see here, we've done local storage dot get item, passing back the key that we used on the set item. So we can go and do a little test with this and see what it looks like. Let's go and try that now. So here we have an example set up where in our ng on, on init uh, method, we are checking to see if storage is available. If it is available, we're setting a local storage item. We're then writing back out to the console the value of what we have saved. If there was no storage available, then we would get an error message. So let's have a look at that running. So we will reload this page. We'll notice in the console over here that based on what we had, we were doing a console to say that storage was ready. We would do another console here, uh, which was telling us what the item was that was saved in that session. So we have a look, it was saying storage was ready and the name Smith was put in there. So if we change this now so that we no longer set an item, so it would already be set, um, we should be able to save that, come back to our page, change to another tab. So we're in a new instance, so it won't, if we were doing session variables, it wouldn't remember. 
but given that we have used a local storage we see that it still remembers even though we didn't set it so that's been able to remember information from totally new instances in the browser let's go and do the same thing but we'll change this now to a session storage okay, we'll save that come back into our browser and reload now given this was a session it started Smith has been added into there if we come back into here and we stop setting it so we only do getting and we come back into our browser we'll close that tab open a new one and go to our uh, local host and go back into inspect our console we'll see that we got no value for the username because it wasn't passed across in the session because this was a new session and it had no value set for it cookies are data stored in small text files on your computer when a web server has sent a web page to a browser the connection is shut down and the server forgets about the user so cookies were invented to solve this problem how to remember information about the user between pages so when a user visits the web page his name can be stored in a cookie the next time that they visit the page the cookie remembers their name then the user is remembered because the cookie is attached to each request back to the server so that the server can use that data in generating its next response cookies are mainly used in collaboration with the server that you make as with web storage cookies can be session based or have a defined expiry date so how to use cookies so cookies can be set from the server but on the browser it is set um, as we see here so we're using a document.cookies and passing through a string which was a name value pair uh, by default the cookie will disappear when you close the browser unless you set an expiry date when we can add more here to add the information of a expiry date so cookies local storage and security so it's important to note um, that you don't store large amounts of sensitive information locally on clients browsers so cookies and local storage have had a number of exploits in the past which mean that data stored in them can be used or stolen by others uh, so it's never a good idea to store passwords or sensitive user data or sensitive database data in cookies or local storage